birdie chance for Sandra Gar to try and get back to level par. On the tee at the second, this is Sandra Gar. The ball seems to hang in the air for so long on this <laughs> shot. <laughs> actually going to be all right, Karen. Yep, just landed on a down slope, released back. We should be putting back uphill. That's where the bra Sandra Gahl now for a birdie at the second, trying to get it to red numbers under par. Very rhythmical putting stroke from Sandra. It's always been that way, isn't it? It's the transition, it's the time at the top of the stroke that creates that rhythm for her. Speed, <laughs> just to fit in with what everybody else is doing. You couldn't have got a much straighter shot than that, looking at the the tracer there. That was... ball barely had any movement on it. On it. And the good news is that Christy Kerr apparently has found her original ball. Another good birdie opportunity. It's been a lot we've seen from Sandra Gall. Might be the difference that the LPGA is using there because there's quite a big gap isn't there, between tee times, 11 minutes? Um, they like to do that because it gives the players a chance to get out, get going and, and stop sort of backups as they happen on the golf course, gives players a chance to keep moving through but I think that uh, if they're on the seventh green and they're still hitting their second shot... This was, could be Toledo, Spain. <laughs> to the eighth and Sandra Gall. I was talking to Sandra a couple of weeks ago in Canada and she was excited to go back home to Germany. Doesn't get the chance to go there very often. In fact, uh, her family live in Prague, so they don't actually have a place to stay in Germany. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. Obviously has a lot of friends there, but was excited to go back and play in her home country and at her home club, had a good week. It is always nice to be in familiar surroundings though, you know, in terms of going to grocery stores, picking up the food that you like and listening to people on the radio, your old familiar radio stations, things like that that you know that you grew up with when you were just a kid in those formative years can uh, really make you feel comfortable. But strangely, she, as you were saying, she had to stay in the hotel even <laughs> though she grew up literally a few miles from the golf course. Apparently they gave her a good room though. I'm sure And they a did. driver. <laughs> I think she took driver out of the bag. I knew what <laughs> Sandra Gao looking to finish with a birdie in a level par round of 71. <laughs> so I've got teammates, uh, Anna Norquist and uh, Karine Shea.